hi welcome back to my youtube channel Coastcraft. i'm peace if you're new to my channel and if you're no subscriber welcome and if you're new you're also welcome to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos i, I i'm okay thank you for the messages i've been reading them and i've missed you all but i am okay so i'm just i've just been away because I have school and I study full time and uh, it's almost the end of the semester so then it gets a bit busy. The semester ends in June so that means more work before the semester closes. So yeah, but I'll try to fix in videos but mostly after June then I can be back fully after I'm done with the, with the semester and then go into summer break. So, so I just hope everybody's doing okay and everything is fine and I'm glad that I'm shooting a video today. So, so yeah. Uh, okay, so today's video is about Vanish. I've been asked that a lot of times to give you an update on what, what kind of, you know, how am I vanishing my beats right now? What's the update? And I've also got messages about, um, how do you know that this vanish is right for paper beat? Those two videos, those two topics that are being requested for together, and then just create one video <laughs> because it, it's way easier. So I have some beautiful beads here already, already done, vanished, look beautiful, glossy, just ready to be styled. That's all left. So you can see how. Okay, so these, they don't have anything on them. You can see that they are dry. <laughs> and these are glossy and this has nothing on them. So we're going to talk about how to turn them to here. So I put this here. So yeah, it's a bit tough question. So I have that. I have some vanishes right now. And I have that. And I have this and I have something really big so I'll put this aside and then I'll just talk about it but uh yeah so I have this one I'll start with this one so this one is in Germany but it says um place it's glossy so and uh, I have this it also says um acrylic varnish and it has matte and um, I have this it also says gloss of hell and I have this it's also varnish and it's gloss and I was recommended to try the wood seal pro well, I just bought that and it's also waterproof so how do you know what varnish to use well you don't know until you try I've tried like maybe 20 <laughs> sometimes uh, I kind of not use them because if I try to use them, they just maybe don't work or they just destroy the bead. Like this one, I, I was recommended to buy the wood seal. So I said, why not? So I tried it and it's, yeah, it's liquidish and it looks really good. But if I put the paper beads in it, it's, um, <laughs> the paper beads open up. So basically like it expands and then yeah, you lose all the bits. So I'll need to get into carpentry and do something with this because I'm stuck with it. And uh, so I went to this hobby shop and I got this and uh, I tried it well. It's really thick, but not glossy enough, but it's thick and good, but not glossy enough. So this I'm also stuck with it, but maybe I'll get another project <laughs> that I can use it um so and then yeah also this one it says gloss but it's not glossy enough you know like it's a bit something is missing in the shine and then when i made these two i'm like okay i'll just buy two of them which one would work <laughs> of course this is mud but it had varnish in my head and varnish that's all i saw and i bought this the first time and the beads weren't like shining so if you want something that is not shining and just mud then this is nice. So I got this gloss, so the gloss is better. So I would recommend getting a varnish that is acrylic. So acrylic varnish and gloss if you want to have it glossy enough. But of course you put on more layers. So it's there's no specific varnish that you can use because I've tried Mod Podge and with me it doesn't really work because I find it tacky and um, a bit 
too thick and then I've tried triple thick and it's really good but it's expensive so <laughs> I go for this one because this is like two euros cheaper than triple thick so it's a good deal and um, yeah so I've tried so many vanishes and I've just settled for this one for now probably in the future I can make my own <laughs> you never know so yeah um so that's basically what I use and uh, this if you only need matte so you always have to check is it gloss or matte but you have to try and fail until you find that varnish that makes you smile when you see your beads so with that I'll just recommend try and fail <laughs> then you will get the one for you otherwise it's hard to just go once but I always recommend um, triple thick it never fails especially the gloss but it's expensive so that's kind of the thing so if you want to try it directly with it while you're experimenting so I would recommend triple thick so yeah <laughs> so I guess now you know my uh, my bead how I vanish my beads update so you can see also there's a there's a difference so you can see how the beads glow you know like they are really glossy and they look really cute so these were made from a magazine. So yeah, that's the beauty of finally maybe finding something to settle with. So I'll try all these vanishes just on uh, beads. So we can see how one, um, one brush does to one layer of vanishing it. Okay, so I'll open that just a little bit there. So this is the the glossy one and this is this gloss as well oh I guess I need to shake it up a little bit okay and then okay. this one I want just I'll just open it because it's already in a seal I hope it does open I'll just leave it open because you can see the inside so I'll just tap in the brush so I'll put that there and the mat yes so where do we put this just a little bit oh I need to check it <laughs> it's been forever since I used it okay I guess now it's thick yeah now it's fine the last one the <laughs> I need to be a bit careful because it's watery. Yeah, it's water. So I thought it would be great for dipping in. So what you need is normally your brush, make it like really nice. And you need your toothpick. I'm sticking to the toothpick method and uh, not dripping or dipping in. No, I'm sticking to this. So, <laughs> so I'll start with here. Since I got it more for dipping in, because yeah, even if I try to dump it in a little bit, it won't. You can see that it's already getting wet, but it's a lot of work. So you need to add in like a lot. So otherwise you just have to dip it in like that. Okay, I hope it got everything. Okay, so we have a problem starting to plug off. So I'll put, so you can see this one just makes the the bead wet. That's it, that's all it does, like just makes it wet. And there's no glossiness at all. Like some parts don't have um, the varnish. So yeah, it's a um, no-no, <laughs> even though it has gloss on it. So I will dry the brush. It's clean again we'll go with this one is also gloss so you can see differences between gloss and other glosses <laughs> other glosses okay so this is gloss as well so you can see it is gloss but uh, it needs a lot of varnish in order to get that shine but you can see some shine from it makes it still gloss so that's why you can buy different gloss but still don't know which one will work best so I have I'll go for that one the matte second 
okay so what happens when you get a mat um, don't mind the opening it just makes it nice but just matty like just no gloss at all but just this I think the lights makes it um, shiny and also because it's wet so it's a bit like water reflection so we'll go with this one the glossy see that um, all of it is covered because it's kind of like it moves so that's why you end up like putting a lot of it because it just keeps moving and then yeah that's it but you can see the glossiness happening then um, so you, this one was the first gloss so you can see this one is drying but the glossiness is going away so let's see how this one dries and we'll see <laughs> I'm done with this palette I'll just <sighs> go with this one Okay, with the toothpick and I'll just put in that see it's really thick and it looks really good look looks really good it's also drying up and yeah so you can try up different um, different glaze but you'll never know which one it is the first time so it's all about trying and failing and this one is still my my update of how I how I still vanish my paper bits so there's nothing has changed because I'm sticking to this method uh, this the toothpick because when I try dipping I lose a lot of bits so sometimes I dip them in the wrong vanish so it's a no-no right now I'm sticking with this because I get so many clean beads but they also are waterproof so according to my experiment that I did so I'll put you I'll put the video in the description or you can just look for it about the is water is paper beads waterproof so it doesn't matter so now when you see the, how they're drying you can see that it starts to differ like all of them start to become different but now this one with the water becomes more dry and uh, yeah it makes <laughs> so this was with the matte no this one was with the varnish from the from the glaze so yeah and this one was the last one with the other one so it takes a bit longer to dry but then it takes more time to so it glazes faster and this one yeah. you can see on this other part it's drying and the gloss is kind of dying so yeah it's <laughs> it's trying and failing but um you can always find the right varnish for you once you try and find that this works for you then it works for you so i wouldn't say there is that specific varnish that you should go for but I would recommend triple thick to start with so you don't have to spend a lot of money buying different varnishes if one doesn't work after the other. So I would just recommend start with triple thick or some people say um, mode porch works for them. But for me, it doesn't. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so yeah. So that was it for today. And uh, thank you for watching. Just let me know if you liked this video or if it was useful by giving me a thumbs up and also commenting. So thank you and I hope you have a nice day. Bye.